excited because he and his best friend, Leo, had decided they were going to play rocket ship all day. Are we going to the park now? You bet we are. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Rosie. Bye. Park ahead. Yay! Way to go, Rosie. My rocket ship flies faster than yours. No, mine does. Coming in for a landing. I'm landing too. This is a space station. Seeing Caillou and Leo having so much fun, Rosie decided she wanted to play, too. Ugh! Rosie, no! <sighs> Daddy! I'm sure she didn't mean to. Me, too. Ooh! No, Rosie! Caillou was very upset. He knew Rosie wanted to help, but she kept undoing everything. our space station. Okay. Maybe Rosie is too little to help with your space station. Rosie, want to play catch with me? Catch! Okay, let's go. Yay! <laughs> we land lots of rocket ships here. Come on, you two. Time to go. Do we have to? It's time for Rosie's nap. Caillou thought it was unfair they had to leave because of Rosie's nap. I want to play with Leo. You can play with Leo at home. We can build another space station at your place. Okay. Come on, Daddy, hurry. Get ready for blast off. Caillou. Rosie did not want to have a nap. She wanted to go and play with her big brother, Caillou. Okay, Rosie. Nap time. Five, four, three, two, one. Look, Mommy. We flew through the tire. Shh. May I ask that you be a little quieter? Rosie's taking her nap. Blast-offs are loud. Caillou hated to have to play quietly just because Rosie was having her nap. They are loud. Hmm. But after blast off, what happens when you're out in space? I don't know. Me neither. Well, if I were in space, I'd put on my spacesuit and go out into space for a spacewalk. Hold on! You forgot to put on your spacesuits. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Let's go! This way! Hmm. What do we have here? We're in space! Okay, you two, float to planet Daddy! I'm returning to base. Okay, space mommy! Hey! What are you two doing? <laughs> We're landing on planet no. Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Bet you didn't know there was a tickle monster on planet Daddy, did you? <laughs> planet Daddy? Where could that be? Hi, Mr. Hinkle. Hi, boys. You know, I just got a new refrigerator, and it came in this big box. I think it'd make a great spaceship, if you're interested. Wow. A spaceship. Should we make the top here? We need a door. There you go, Caillou. Hmm. What do you say we put the tail fin here? Do it. Me too. There. Now all we have to do is decorate it. Wow, the rocket ship looks great. 
Rosie felt she had been left out of all the fun Leo and Caillou were having. She wanted to play with the rocket ship, too. Me, too! Caillou didn't want Rosie scribbling on the rocket ship. He was starting to get annoyed with her. No, Rosie! <laughs> Daddy! Caillou, that isn't a very nice way to treat Rosie. She's just trying to help. She's wrecking the spaceship. Maybe there's a different way Rosie can help. I have an idea how we can make something for the rocket ship that Caillou's going to love. We'll need this. Can we go in it now? Are you finished? Uh-huh. Are you sure? I think it needs a flag. Rosie made it. Thank you, Rosie. Caillou was very impressed by her beautiful flag. And Rosie was Yay! very happy she <laughs> finally got to help with the <laughs> rocket ship. <laughs> we can put it on top. Great idea. Ta-da! <laughs> I think we're ready for our first flight. Rosie ready, too. Caillou, you can sit here, Rosie. Prepare for blast-off! <laughs> Seatbelts on. Five, four, three, two, one! Blast-off! Rocket! And so Leo, Caillou, <laughs> and their special flag maker, Rosie, blasted off into space. Helps Grandpa. How much longer, Daddy? Caillou was impatient to get to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Today, Caillou, his Daddy, and Grandpa were going skating. We're almost there. Why don't you try to walk in my footprints? Would you look at all this snow? If we're gonna drive to the skating rink, I think we need to clear this driveway first. Well, let's get to work then. How about it, Caillou? Caillou saw how much snow there was. He wanted to help. Good. The more help we have, the faster the work will get done. There are extra shovels in the house. Caillou thought it was hard work to keep up. That's good. Keep going. Uh, Daddy, help! It's stuck. Pull hard. Uh, uh, uh. Ow! Caillou had another idea of how he could help. I'm going to work here. Here comes some more. <laughs> Watch out! Time out. If we want to get to that skating rink, we'd better get back to work. I think I'll start on the walkway. What's this? Can I have it, Grandpa? Sure, be my guest. Caillou discovered that the flower pot was very useful to carry snow and that it was great to build snow castles. Daddy, come see what I made. Look at the castles. Wow! Caillou was proud that his grandpa and daddy liked his castles. They're the biggest castles ever! Whee! What about skating? You should probably head out soon. How about we skate tomorrow, Caillou? Caillou? 
Caillou was too busy to answer because he heard something outside. Wow! More snow! I can make snow castles again! <sighs> Backyard Bowlers Hi, Grandma! Hello, Caillou! Caillou's mommy had just dropped him and Rosie off to spend the afternoon with Grandma and Grandpa. What's that? It's Grandpa's old bowling trophy. He won this prize for being the best player. Yep, I used to be quite the bowler in my day. Come on, I think I still have my bowling ball here somewhere. It was the most unusual ball Caillou had ever seen. Careful, it's heavy. Caillou wondered how anyone could play a game with such a heavy ball. Can you show me how to play? Sure, Caillou, but first we need to get a few things that are more your size. Looks like we've got everything. Caillou was very curious to see how this game would work. Me too! Okay, Rosie. Grandpa will show you how to bowl too. Looks perfect. This'll be our bowling alley. Me too. Come on, Rosie. You can help set up the pins. <laughs> you put them like this. See, Rosie? I think we're ready to bowl. Bowling was a lot of fun. Rosie, too. Telephone, it's for you. Okay, dear. Now that you're such a good bowler, maybe you can show Rosie how to play while I'm gone. Caillou was proud that Grandpa thought he was good at bowling. Okay, Rosie, roll the ball over there. Try again. Caillou and Rosie were both getting frustrated. I know. Move closer. <laughs> Yay! Caillou, Rosie, time for a snack. Wow, it looks as good as new. And here's a couple of special trophies for my champion bowlers. And yours is also for being so good at helping your sister. Caillou felt very proud. Thank you, Grandma. Hello. Hi, Mommy. We played bowling. Mommy, see. Bowling? Who taught you how to do that? Grandpa showed me, and I showed Rosie. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's milk run. Cereal, Daddy! Hey there, sleepyhead. <sighs> or should I say sleepy heads? Caillou thought it was funny that everyone was yawning, too. It was catching. Daddy's Diner is now open for breakfast, and we're taking special requests on this fine morning. So, what's it gonna be, young man? Cereal, please. Me, me, me! And for the lovely lady, may I suggest some scrambled de cocos? <laughs> You're silly, Daddy. And would the little boy get the moo milk from the fridge, s'il vous plaît? Only one happy about Caillou's accident was Gilbert. Milk? 
Sorry, Rosie, but there's no more milk left for your cereal. It's okay, Rosie. We'll make you some eggs. <laughs> or, or how about some toast? With honey. The only thing that Rosie wanted was a bowl of cereal. Caillou felt bad. He didn't mean to spill the milk. Then he remembered where he could get more milk. We can go get more milk at the store. That's a great idea, Caillou. Let's get dressed. Can you pick up some bread while you're at it? I'll get Rosie to eat something else in the meantime. You're walking too fast. Mommy, look! Caillou thought the drawing was even more beautiful now that it was a happy sun. this game with his mommy so much that they decided to play it all the way home. Green light. Red light, mommy. We're home. Caillou was proud to have helped by bringing back some milk. He was looking forward to a good bowl of cereal. Cereal, too. You're still hungry after everything you ate? Ready? Green light. <laughs> Rosie. She's my baby sister, and I love her. We play games together a lot. And we have fun. I get to show her things I like. And sometimes I help take care of her. <laughs> because I'm her big brother. Dancing at Grandma's. Caillou was frustrated because Grandma had promised to take him to the park, and now they couldn't go. <sighs> What's the matter, Caillou? It's not fair. I want to go to the park. Well, if the weather clears up, we can go later. Why don't you help me dry these? Oh, okay, Grandma. After they finished drying the dishes, Caillou went to play with his car. Brr, brr, here. Caillou was very curious about the pictures inside the book. I see you found my photo album, Caillou. Who's that, Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. <laughs> That's not you and Grandpa. <laughs> yes, it is. Your grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Oh, I'll get it. The night that picture was taken, there was a big contest. This is the ribbon we won. Was very impressed. Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yeah, I can win first prize too. This was one of our favorite songs. Look, Grandma, <laughs> I'm dancing. That's good, Caillou. Here, come and take my hands. All you have to do is listen to the music. See? Oops. Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. Watch this, Grandma. I think you just made up a new dance. <laughs> For being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> We're in here, dear. Hi, you two. It 
looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Grandma showed me. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'll get it. Hi, everyone. Oh, can you believe how the rain cleared up? Caillou was having so much fun dancing that he didn't even notice that it had stopped raining. Look! I got first prize for dancing. <laughs> Rosie, too! May I have this dance? Mystery Valentine. Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. oh. Caillou was excited when he remembered that Leo was having a Valentine's party today. I'm gonna make Valentine's cards. That's right. You could bring them to Leo's party to give to your friends. And they'll give you cards, too. Mommy explained that Valentine's Day was a day to show people how much you cared about them. This shirt is perfect. Red, the color of love. I want to make a heart. Okay, we'll do it together. Work, Caillou. Now you can decorate it and choose who it's for. Caillou tried to decide who he would give the Valentine card to. This one's for Clementine. She likes stars. Where's the glue? Hmm, that's funny. I'm sure it was here somewhere. <laughs> Here's the glue. We're all done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou worked very hard at making special valentines for his friends. I'm finished, Mommy. I made one for Leo and Clementine and Xavier and Emma. The cards look wonderful, Caillou. I'm sure they'll all be very happy. Hmm. You better put your coat on. We're gonna be late. Caillou couldn't wait to get to Leo's party. The Valentines! Here you go, Caillou. I put them in a bag for you. You. Thank you. Have a good time. When Caillou got to Leo's house, all he could think about was giving the cards to his friends. Did you give out the Valentines yet? No, we're waiting for you. Caillou, Caillou, come on. Okay, does everybody have their Valentines ready? Yeah! Then go ahead and give them out. This one's for you, Clementine. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, it's pretty. I made it. That one's me, and that's you. <laughs> Here, Caillou. It's nice. Caillou was glad his friends liked his valentines. Did you give all of yours up? Huh? Caillou hadn't seen that valentine before. I did. 
didn't make this one. Hey! Hmm. It's for you. It has your name on it. But Caillou had already received a valentine from everyone. Did someone give Caillou two valentines? Caillou wondered who made him the card. Looks like someone gave you a mystery valentine. Caillou was impressed by all the sparkles on the cookies, and they were delicious, too. But he was still wondering who the mystery valentine was from. Your mom will be here soon, Caillou. Why don't you take a few cookies home? Thanks! Bye! Mommy! Did you give me this one? No, I didn't make it. You don't know who it's from? Well, that's quite a mystery. We'll have to investigate at home. Caillou was determined to figure out who the mystery valentine was from. Daddy! Daddy! Is it from you? No, it's not from me. Why don't we look for some clues? There's a clue. A cat's paw print. <laughs> I don't think Gilbert could make a card. But Gilbert must have been watching the person who was painting the card. Now Caillou was really puzzled. He had no idea who made him the valentine. Are you sure you thought of everyone, Caillou? I think there's someone you forgot. <laughs> Rosie! Did you make this card for me? Rosie, do it. <laughs> we worked hard on that secret valentine, didn't we, Rosie? Thanks. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I have something for you, Rosie. Yummy. Sticky. Thank you, Caillou. Thank you, Caillou. Rosie, too! Caillou, Caillou! Yay! Play a ball! We're going to watch Daddy's baseball game. <laughs> Mommy! Daddy! I'm ready! Okay, okay. We're ready. Rosie, ready too. You have a tiger on your shirt. That's because my team is called the Tigers. Let's go team. Caillou was very excited to go see his daddy playing baseball. Are we going to cheer for daddy, Caillou? Yeah! Look! Daddy's the one with the bat! He hit it! Daddy hit it! Yay! Caillou was getting bored just watching the game. Aww. Caillou, Daddy's over on the bench now. Why don't you go see him? Ball, Daddy? These bats are too big and heavy for you. But after the game, we'll use your bat, okay? Okay, Daddy. Caillou was very happy to be part of Daddy's team. Can I have a tiger shirt, too? Hey, I've got just the thing for you, Caillou. You can get this sewn onto your T-shirt. The crest made Caillou feel very special. Ooh, I'm thirsty. Want some water, too? I can do it. Daddy, yay! 
Caillou was excited to see his daddy scoring a run. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Caillou. You're a pretty good water boy. What's a water boy? The person in charge of giving water to thirsty people. Oh. We're winning, Caillou. I was the water boy. Look, Mommy. Very nice tiger. Can we play baseball now? We sure can. Caillou was very proud to have scored a run for the Tigers. Where did the ball go? Roar! Roar! <laughs> Rosie's on the Tiger team, too. <laughs> Dog sled ahead. Come on, Caillou. It's cold outside. Don't you like your new snowsuit? I don't want to wear it. Caillou liked his old snowsuit better. I think you're going to need it when we go tobogganing. Caillou was so excited to go tobogganing that he couldn't stand still. <laughs> Whee! Caillou couldn't wait to slide down a really big hill. Come on, Caillou. We're ready to go. <laughs> Hold on tight. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Wow! Caillou enjoyed watching everyone sliding down the hill. He noticed all kinds of people and all kinds of different toboggans. Some of them were very funny. <laughs> I want to slide down Yay! the hill, too. Okay, Caillou, but before sliding down, we have to climb up. Me, too. Whoa. Caillou was determined to get to the top of the hill. the hill was a long way down. Don't worry, Caillou. It'll be lots of fun. And if we go too fast, I can use my feet like brakes. Ready? Go! grew more excited as the toboggan picked up speed. <laughs> We're almost at the finish line. Whoa! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> Did we win the race, Daddy? No, we went faster, but Mommy and Rosie got to the finish line first. Come on, let's go again. I want to win! Sure. Let's take a look. Caillou had never seen a dog pulling a sled before. Hi! Ha! 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 He was impressed by the way the dog followed the commands. Well, that's it for today, folks. Oh. Oh. Hi 
there. What's your name? Hi, you. I'm Tom, and this is Chinook. She's a husky dog, and she loves the snow. Caillou was fascinated by Chinook. See? Chinook's fur is like your snowsuit. It keeps her warm when she's pulling the sled through the snow. Caillou noticed that Chinook's sled was different from his. I have a sled. And a nice one, too. But Chinook pulls a special kind of sled. Say, Caillou, would you like to take a ride with Chinook? Caillou felt a bit scared. He'd never been in a dog sled before. Don't worry. I'm sure Chinook will be very careful. Does your little sister want to come along for a ride, too? Caillou! Come on, Rosie. You can sit with me. Encouraging Rosie made Caillou feel better, too. He felt safer now that they were riding together. Let's tell Chinook we're ready to go. Hike! 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 <laughs> Caillou felt like he was driving the sled. <laughs> now I'll tell her to turn left. Ha! <laughs> now you can tell her to stop. Say, whoa. Try a little louder. Whoa! Yay! Caillou was happy that Chinook listened to him. Chinook and I have to go home now, but I'm sure she'd love it if you gave her a pat on the head, since she did such a great job. Bye, Chinook! Hike! Bye! Caillou wished Chinook was coming home with him. Dog like Chinook? No, it would be nice to get a ride home with her, but you'll have to settle for the car today. Come on, in you go. Hike! Caillou, you should take off your snowsuit first. You'll be hot. No, I want to wear it. Caillou liked his new snowsuit so much now, he didn't want to take it off. Besides, Caillou couldn't wait to play sled dog. And since he didn't have a dog, he tried something else. Gilbert, you can be the sled cat. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you listen. Good sled cat, Gilbert. to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Sleepover guest. Roar! Roar! Caillou and Leo were playing dinosaurs. Roar! 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 Ah! Tupper, Caillou! Tupper! Roar! Roar! <laughs> Roar! Roar! Did you like your brontosaurus pie? Roar! <laughs> All right, you two dinosaurs can go play now. But remember, Leo's being picked up soon. Can't Leo stay longer, please? <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's getting late. Bedtime soon. Roar! <laughs> can Leo sleep over? 
all right with me. What do you think? Sure. As long as it's okay with Leo's parents. Yay! Okay. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. I can stay! Yay! <laughs> It'll be like going camping, Leo. You could sleep right here beside Caillou. I like camping. Snug as a bug. Caillou thought that camping out on the floor looked like fun. I want to sleep in the sleeping bag. No, I like the sleeping bag. Leo's the guest, honey. He gets first pick. <laughs> Here are some towels for you and a nice new toothbrush for Leo. I want a new toothbrush, too. Sorry, pal. We've only got one new one. Leo can use my toothbrush. Sharing toothbrushes isn't a good idea. Leo's the guest, and he gets the new toothbrush. Caillou thought it wasn't fair that his sleepover guest was getting all the special things. I want my tiger pajamas. You can borrow a pair of Caillou's pajamas for tonight. I always sleep in my tiger pajamas. I want to go home. Caillou was upset to see Leo sad. He wanted to make him feel better. You can have my dinosaur pajamas. That's very nice of you, Caillou. Are you going to be all right, Leo? Caillou and Leo had found a way to both wear the dinosaur pajamas. <laughs> Hey, I like those wild PJs. Time for bed. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Leo. See you in the morning. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> now Caillou and Leo were both camping together. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Games in the Park. Caillou! Okay. <laughs> Ready, Rosie? <laughs> Caillou could hardly wait because Miss Martin was taking him and his friends to the park. Hi, Caillou! You'll see Caillou later, sweetie. Bye, Caillou! Bye, honey. All right, let's go. Bye! <laughs> Here we are. Mara, Clementine, Xavier, Emma, Caillou, Leo. I have a new game for you. Caillou was curious and excited. Miss Martin's new games were always fun. I'm going to win! No! I'm going to win! Race ya! <laughs> Yahoo! Hooray! I'm first! Try this! everyone. Come over here, please. Does anybody want to play a new game? Yeah! Me yeah! too! Yeah! Me too! Good. Today we're going to play in teams. You're going to be on my team. We don't know the teams yet. That's a surprise. I'll pull the names out of here to choose the teams. Okay? Yeah. Yes! The first team will be Xavier and Emma. Leo and Clementine. Caillou was disappointed that his best friend Leo was not on the same team. Mera and Caillou. We're going to have a beanbag race. Each team gets one beanbag. Clementine, Xavier,
That will make a great starting line. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, Clementine. How do you play? Here's how the beanbag race works. You take turns with your teammate to carry it, and the first beanbag to come back to the finish line wins. <laughs> I'm gonna win. We'll see. Mara, Clementine, and Emma, go wait at the tree over there. Once you get your beanbag from your partner, you race back. <laughs> Fast! I can run faster! Okay, boys. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> come on, Caillou! Caillou, come back! Caillou was concentrating so hard that he forgot to give Mara the bean bag. Is right. So the winners are the yellow beanbag team, Clementine and Leo. We, we win! win! We, we win! win! Caillou felt bad that they had lost because of him. Let's race again! Sure. Caillou liked the idea he would get another chance to win. Yeah! And this time we'll win! be part of our next race. Any other ideas? We can push the bean bags down the slide. Good idea. So first, bean bags will go down the slide, then the partner walks the rim of the sandbox and comes back to the finish line. Yay! Yay! Girls start this time. Boys, you go wait at the end of the slide. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> That's easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. It wasn't so easy after all. But Caillou was determined to do it. I did it. The green beanbag team comes in first. Emma and Xavier win this time. Caillou was proud to have crossed the sandbox. He didn't care about winning the race so much anymore. <laughs> you all did very well in the beanbag race. I have a surprise. I thought you might like beanbags of your own. Jelly beans were definitely Caillou's favorite kind of bean. And he knew someone else who just loved them. <laughs> oh, she won! First we have to race. I need your ball, and you go to your toy box, okay? Caillou wanted to show Rosie the new game he learned. You say go! Oh, okay. Go! <laughs> go give the ball to Mommy! <laughs> we win! <laughs> Our team wins! Yay! Some for you. And some for me. Some for you. Thank you. That was a fun race. Shall we do it again? We can't. Why not? <laughs> there are no more jelly beans to win. <laughs> The Sugar Shack. Jonas had invited Caillou's family for a visit at the ranch. <laughs> Caillou liked the sound the sleigh bells made when the horses moved. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Look, there's a bucket on that tree. That's right. Let's go check it out. It's 
water? It looks like water, but it's sap from inside the maple tree. See? It comes out here. Caillou was surprised that something like that could come out of a tree. Want to taste some? Ozzy, too! We can make great things from sap. What things? All kinds of great treats, like maple syrup, maple sugar, oh, Yay! and maple butter. <laughs> mm. First, we need to collect some sap. I want to help! Okay, partner. Can you carry this to the sleigh? Can I do it? Sure, go ahead. Great job. Let's bring the sap back to the sugar shack and turn it into maple goodies. Look at this. It's become maple syrup. Wow! Caillou couldn't believe it. All the watery maple sap was now thick maple syrup. Can I taste it? It's really too hot right now. Besides, I need to boil it longer for a surprise. I sure could use some help with this special table outside. Sure, I'll get right to it. Me too! Ozzy too! Snow! <laughs> That's great, Caillou. We'll be done in no time. Nice and flat now. <laughs> Perfect. Stay back. This is very hot. Are you pouring that on the snow? The snow cools it off. This is my favorite treat of all. It's maple toffee. Try this, partner. Mmm, this is the best maple toffee I've ever tasted. My turn! Ozzy, too! Mmm! Mmm, yum! What a treat! Want some help there, Caillou? Caillou was determined to get the toffee by himself. He couldn't wait to taste it. Mm, sticky. Mm. Winter mystery. Wind had knocked the bird feeder down during the night. Daddy was fixing it. There we go, all fixed up. We can fill it. I can do it. Good job. The birds will love it. Where are they? They'll return as soon as their house is back in place. See? Some of them have been here already. They left tracks. Caillou was surprised that birds could make prints in the snow. You have visitors, Caillou. They're coming around the side of the house. Caillou was happy to see the twins. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jason. Make sure you stay in the yard where we can see you. Okay. Look, bird tracks. I can make bigger tracks. <laughs> Let's play follow the leader. Follow me! Ready, go! <laughs> Look! Caillou was curious about these new tracks. They were smaller than his own, but bigger than the bird prints. Let's follow these tracks. They're gone! Caillou wanted to know where the prints went. They stop here? Let's play snow tag. You're it. <laughs> huh? Gotcha, Caillou. Hey. <laughs> there. What could have made the snow fall like that? Tracks. 
Caillou was delighted to have solved the mystery of the vanishing tracks. He wants to play! Wait for us! Caillou, Jeffrey, and Jason were getting tired of trying to keep up with their energetic new friend. Jeffrey and Jason decided to make more angels. <laughs> which were beautiful. Caillou Snow Day. Caillou loved snow. He couldn't wait to go outside to play in it. Look at all the snow! Snow! How about after breakfast, I give you two a ride to the big park on your sled? Yay! too deep and you guys are heavy. I want to help! Whee! Can I play with Andre? Okay. <laughs> Andre was one of Caillou's older friends. It was hard for Caillou to climb up the big snow pile. Look at me. I'm the king of the castle. Uh, look at me. Caillou liked standing at the top all by himself. He could see everywhere in the park. Although Caillou was not sure how to build a snow fort, he thought it was a great idea. Let's put yours on top. It'll make our fort higher. Caillou wanted to show Andre he could help too. Wow, careful. Just don't push so hard. Try over there. Wow. Snowballs to throw at the bad guys, right? Caillou! Sarah! Hi! Hi! Can I play too? Yeah! You could be the bad guy! Hey, no fair! I wasn't ready! <laughs> <laughs> higher? What a nice snow fort. Can we help too? Uh-huh. Caillou! Thanks, Rosie. Caillou thought this was the best snow day ever. <laughs> Loads of fun together. Like bird watching with real birds. Grandma's real good at arts and crafts. And we love playing music. I love staying over at Grandma's house. Super Caillou. Can you read me, Super Bear? Please? A 
Again? Well, I guess the vacuuming can wait a little bit. The Fantastic Adventures of Super Bear. Yay! One day, Super Bear was walking in the park when all of a sudden he saw Bad Bazoo Bear. Stealing apples! That's right. No, I will never give back the apples. Give them back! <laughs> <laughs> Bazoo tried to run away. Caught you. <laughs> Super Bear never lets him get away. That's right. It's Super Bear to the rescue. Da-da-da. He saves the apples and saves the day. The end. Yay, Super Bear. Read it again, Daddy. Again, again. I'd like to, Caillou, but I have the vacuuming to finish. Caillou liked looking at his favorite book and pretending that he could read the words. Super Bear went to the forest one day and he met Little Bear. <laughs> Bad Bazoo came and tried to steal apples and Super Bear and Little Bear caught him. The end. End. Come on, Rosie. Let's play Super Bear. Super Bear needs a cape. Me! Da da da! We are Super Bear and Little Bear. <laughs> Quick, hide! It's Bad Bazoo. <laughs> Caillou was pretending that Gilbert was Bad Bazoo. find my car keys. If I don't get to the post office soon, it's going to close. Super Bear will find them. Da, da, da. Here they are. Thanks, Caillou. You're my superhero. Me too? <laughs> yes, you do, sweetie. Trip on the subway. Caillou was excited. He was going to his friend Clementine's house to play with her. Okay, bye. Clementine's mommy wants to talk to you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not a problem. I'll drop Rosie off and then drive Caillou over. All right, bye. Can we go to Clementine's now, mommy? As soon as I finish writing my letter, okay? Caillou was disappointed. He didn't like waiting. Caillou! Gilbert! <laughs> See you later, honey. I've got to get going. Are you taking the car? Yes. Can you drop Caillou off at Clementine's? Well, sorry, it's too far out of my way. I'd be late. Can you drop Rosie at Grandma's? Well, yes, but we have to leave right away. Whee! Bye, Bye, Rosie. Who's going to take me to Clementine's house? You and I are going to take the subway to go to Clementine's. What's a subway? The subway is like a train, but it goes in a tunnel under the ground. Caillou had been on a train before, and he liked trains a lot. Hold on to Mommy's hand when we go down the escalator. Okay, Caillou? Okay. Caillou liked the escalator. It did all the moving. All they had to do was just stand there. Ready? Jump! Whoa! <laughs> Can I do 
that too? Can I have some money, please? Okay. Let me see if I can find some. Thank you! It was as though the lady was playing her music just for Caillou. I'm going on the subway. Well then, you're going to need a ticket, aren't you? Maybe your ticket can get it unstuck. Ah! Mommy, my ticket's gone! And is the metal bar still stuck? No. Ticket as a souvenir, Caillou. Yay! Caillou was so impressed with the turnstile that he wanted to try it again. I want to go again! <laughs> you need a new ticket each time you go through. <laughs> I'll do it! Here, Mommy. Why don't you hold on to it for me? Okay. Caillou was enjoying himself. He liked this underground train station. Mommy showed Caillou the map of the subway. It showed all the places the train went. Where are we, Mommy? We're here. And that's where we're going. One dot, two dots, three dots. Look, Mommy, little maps. You could take one and keep it, Caillou. Can I take one for Clementine, too? I think that's a great idea. Caillou was impressed with all the presents he was getting at the underground station. We have to stay behind this yellow line until the train comes. Your attention, please. Green Line train arriving on Platform 7. Caillou thought that the person making the loud announcement must be very tall. Mommy! It's okay, Caillou. That hot wind means the train is coming. Do you hear it? Uh-huh. Caillou found the noise and rush of the incoming train a little frightening. Caillou's fears disappeared when he saw the brightly colored trains. to sit there. Caillou. You have to wait until the train stops before switching seats, sweetie. Look at me, Mommy. Look at me. I'm going backwards. And I'm going sideways. <laughs> Two stops. Caillou thought that the subway was pretty neat. Clementine. Hi. Come on in. <laughs> I can drive you and Caillou back home if you'd like. Mommy, please. I want to go on the subway again. I guess we'll take the subway home. Let's go, Mommy. We just got here. Don't you want to play with Clementine? Oh. <laughs> for you, Clementine. You want to play subway train? Okay. The map shows the dot where we got on the subway. Want to see it? Right there. This way. Caillou liked the subway so much, he wanted to travel on it all the time. Caillou's Race. My turn. Gilbert, you can't play. One. 
One, two, three. Vroom! 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 Caillou really wanted to win. He thought he should play again so that he would finish first. Hey there, it's my turn. <laughs> Five. Uh-oh, looks like I'm about to finish. Caillou did not want to lose. No, you can go five the other way. Sorry, Caillou, but the rules of the game are to go forward. So, I'm finished. Beep, beep, I won. I wanted to win. You won the last game, and now I won, so it's even. Do you want to play another game? Caillou was upset that he lost the game. He didn't want to play again. Caillou, play? Maybe Caillou needs a bit of time alone right now. After a while, Caillou thought of a new game. Hi, Teddy. Want to race? <laughs> Me too. First, Caillou needed to set a starting point and a finish line. Go! I won! Caillou knew that Teddy could not run by himself. He decided it would be more fun to race with someone that could. Gilbert! Hey, Caillou, what are you up to? I'm playing with Gilbert. Okay, have fun then. See, Gilbert? We're gonna race over there, okay? One. Two, three, go! You were supposed to race! His race was not turning out the way he planned. Who could he play with? Aww. Rosie! Wanna race? Good night! Rosie was too busy to play with Caillou. Caillou! But he wanted to race anyway. There. <laughs> Rosie! Ellie! You have to leave him there. He's the start line. Ready, Rosie? One, two, go! <laughs> Ellie! Caillou couldn't believe that Rosie won the race. Rosie was so cheerful that soon Caillou was in a good mood, too. And he wanted to play again, just for the fun of it. Roar, roar, roar. As good as new. Daddy, Sarah's riding her bike. Can we go for a bike ride, too? I don't see why not. It's a great day for biking. Let's see now. Are the tires full? Yes. Chain oiled? Yep. Are the brakes working? Uh-huh. Mommy, we're going bike riding. That's great. We're going shopping. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye. Have fun. Hi, Caillou. Look at my new bike. Hi, Leo. Caillou was very impressed with Leo's new bike. It has a special flag and streamers, see? Can I have a turn? No, it's my new bike. I'm sure Caillou would let you ride his bike if you asked him. That was fun! Thank you, Leo. Well, it's time to go now. Bye. Bye. Caillou wished his bike was as nice as Leo's. You know, if we clean our bikes, they'll look good as new. Here you go, Caillou. <laughs> that tickles. Wow, they look brand new, don't you think? Yeah. Leo has a flag and steamers. Yes, 
Those are called streamers. Streamers? Hmm. When I was your age, I used to decorate my bike. Would you like to decorate your bike, Caillou? Yes! How about some red yarn? Green too, okay, Daddy? See? Gilbert likes it too. How about these cards, Daddy? They're perfect. And that will make a perfect flag. Stand back. <laughs> That's funny. Caillou liked decorating the bike. He was having a lot of fun. Yay! The flag! Wow, your bikes look nice. I cleaned mine. I can see that. It's just missing one thing. <laughs> wow. Now Caillou felt proud of his bike. Leo, come see my bike. Can we go for a ride now? Wee! <laughs> Control. It goes forwards, backwards, and it can even pick up the stick. Bye, gotta go. I wish I had a robot. Eh. Look at me, I'm a robot. Caillou thought playing robot was a good game to play, but something was missing. Hey, Leo, you need a remote control. Okay, robot, go fast. Stop, turn, no this way. Slow, fast, <laughs> it's my turn. Go, robot, go, that way. Oh, hello, what game are you two boys playing now? I'm a robot. Oh, I see, hmm. What if I gave you a robot disguise? Thanks, Mommy. Can I have that pot, Rosie? Set because both wanted to be the robot. But who would use the remote control? Oh, there's two little robots in the house now. Who's got the remote control then? May I have it, please? I wonder what all these buttons do. This one says, jump. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, well, I have to go and cook dinner now. Thanks, little robots. Let's see if it works on mommy robots. Mommy robot, mommy robot. Mommy robot, get me a snack. Um, please? <laughs> what does this button do? Wow. You two boys are robots again. Oh no, the remote doesn't seem to be working. I wonder what happens to the robots if the batteries go dead. The robots stop? That's right. They go slower and freeze right where they are. Oh, what will we do now? Hmm, I'll have to push the restart button right here. Mmm, I mean, yum, yum. You. I'm four years old, and there's lots I can do. I can make things with my daddy. 
I know how to make my teddy bear all better. I even read stories to my grandma. But what I'm best at is having fun. <laughs> Caillou's Water Park. Hi, Mr. Mailman. Hi, Caillou. I'm the new mailman. Neato! Daddy, I'm the new mailman. You are? Good job. Daddy, what's this? It's a brochure for a water park. It's like the swimming pool, only bigger. Can we go? Please? Please? Sorry, kids, but it's too far away. Tell you what, though, you can deliver this letter to Mommy. Okay. Caillou was sad he couldn't go to the water park. Mommy, look what we got in the mail. Wow, looks like they've got lots of neat stuff there. Can we go? Can we please? Not today. We'd have to plan a special trip. But it sure is hot. Why don't we have our own water park? Our own water park? Let's see what they've got. Oh, look, a picture of a rainbow. <laughs> We've got one of those. See? Caillou was amazed that Mommy had made a rainbow, just like in the picture. How'd you do that, Mommy? <laughs> it wasn't hard. <laughs> And making our own water park wouldn't be hard either. Want to give it a try? <laughs> okay. You have to keep your eyes closed. Okay, I've got them closed. Me too. Okay, you can open your eyes. We're here. Where are we? We're at Caillou's Rainbow Water Park. See? Wow, look, Rosie. A rainbow. Rainbow. Before you come in, you have to pay. Okay, here you go. And as our first customers, you win a prize. What prize do they get? <laughs> you get sprayed with water. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, go spray Daddy. Rosie, do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's a big enough prize for Daddy. Time for the water game. Yay! You have to get the ball past the tree with this. Rosie, too. It's your turn, Rosie. Stand near the ball. Hold tight. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Daddy, my turn! Hey, you! Yay! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> I think you should get a prize. What do I get? What do I get? You get sprayed <laughs> with water! <laughs> Caillou liked how he and Mommy had built their very own water park. <laughs> Gone fishing. Time to get up, Caillou. We don't want to keep the fish waiting. Caillou was getting up extra early because he was going on a fishing trip Hello. with Daddy and Grandpa. Uh, I'm gonna catch lots of fish. I hope so, but sometimes even a good fisherman only catches one. A really big one. <laughs> we don't need lunch, Mommy. I'm gonna catch a fish this big. Big. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want any? It's peanut butter and grape jelly. Yum. Okay. Grandpa. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> Your hat is funny. I always catch fish when I wear this hat. That's why it's my lucky fishing hat. I hope you have better luck than last time. You didn't catch anything for dinner. You didn't catch anything? Even if we don't catch any fish, we'll still have lots of fun. Right, Caillou? Caillou was surprised they needed so many things to catch a fish. It's 
It's as tall as me, Daddy. Yep, it's the perfect Caillou size. Here's your own lucky hat, Caillou. Now Caillou felt like a real fisherman. Caillou noticed that the feathers on the wall looked like the ones on Grandpa's hat. See, Caillou? These are lures, and these are flies. They're for attracting fish, so we can catch them. I've got the bait. Worms? Fish love worms. It's like peanut butter and jelly to them. <laughs> Fishing too. Caillou thought that the fishermen could catch lots of fish with such a big boat. A fish! A fish! Come back, fish! <laughs> you won't catch fish that way, Caillou. We have to use our fishing rods. Oh. When are the fish coming? Shh, Caillou. You don't want to scare them off. If you're quiet, I'll bet you can hear all kinds of sounds. The more he listened, the more sounds Caillou could hear. Birds! That's right, they're seagulls. Can you hear anything else? A dragonfly! It was very small, so he let it go. That way, it can grow into a big fish. A little later, Caillou was getting frustrated because he still hadn't caught anything. Aww. Where are the fish? You have to be patient when you go fishing, Caillou. Sometimes you have to wait. See? Look how patient Grandpa is. He's a master fisherman. <laughs> Let's have some lunch. Then we'll go for a walk. It's the boat we saw before. It's coming closer. That's right. They're bringing in the catch of the day. We couldn't find any. <laughs> Maybe. Pee It smells. Those seagulls like the smell. He took one. From here, it goes to the store where people buy it and, mmm, cook it for dinner. Caillou wanted to catch a fish and bring it home for dinner, too. Let's fish some more, Daddy. Hi there. Still no luck. I'm just about ready to give up for today. Just a little longer, please. Okay, Caillou. Caillou concentrated really hard on staying still. Suddenly he felt a tug on the end of the line. Daddy! Daddy! A fish! Okay, Caillou, let's try to reel it in. Oh boy, look at that! Aww! Caillou was disappointed that the fish got away. Well, it was a pretty small one. We can come back and try to catch it when it's bigger. Caillou decided he had fun fishing, even if he didn't catch anything. Hmm, all that fresh air made me hungry. 
I can't wait for dinner. But we didn't catch any fish for Mommy. I have an idea. We'll make a little stop on the way home. <laughs> huh? Hello! Hi, sweetie. It's for you, Mommy. Whoa! What a big fish! We caught it at the store! <laughs> hey, don't give away our fishing secrets. Oops, I forgot! <laughs> <laughs> Water goes round. Eh, all right, we need some more cars over here. Okay. Vroom! Grandma, can you come play with me? Sure. But first, how about if you play with me? We can wash these clothes together. That's not a game. It is when I play it. First off, I need a big truck to move this laundry. Me? can be a big truck. Okay, Mr. Truck. I need that bag of laundry pushed down the stairs. Oh, ah, beep, beep, beep. Good work, Mr. Truck. Vroom! Now, I need all the colored clothes over there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is... Purple. I see it. Caillou like Grandma's washing the clothes game. Now somehow we've got to get this soap moved into the washing machine. I want to do it. Beep, beep. Now push the button to get it started. Beep. What game should we play now? I like this game, Grandma. Me too. But we have to wait while the clothes take their bubble bath. Caillou thought it was funny that the clothes were taking a bath just like he did in the tub. I win. You're a good player, Caillou. You know what? I think the washer should have stopped by now. Let's go see. Calling Mr. Truck. I need help to move the clothes from the washer to the dryer. Mr. Truck here. All done. Close dryer door, please, Mr. Truck. Push the button. Now the buzzer will go off when the clothes are dry. We need to listen for it. A shirt. Here, Caillou. You remember how to fold, don't you? Good job. Caillou was proud he could fold like Grandma. Now, where's the other red sock? Top to toe and over I go, into a ball just like so. Top, Top to, to toe, toe and over I go, go then into, into a ball, ball just like so. helped Grandma wash the clothes. Wow! Can I wash clothes with you at our house, Mommy? Sure. And I think we'll start with that messy shirt. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's Test Drive. Get by, Daddy. Okay. Caillou thought the car sounded like it had a terrible cold. Is our car broken, Daddy? I think maybe it's time to take it to the garage for some repairs. Actually, how about we all go take a look at some new cars today? I've never seen so many shiny new cars before. I like 
the red one. Nice choice, young man. We're just looking around. Maybe you can give us a little tour. Why, certainly. Follow me. What kind of car are you looking for? One that's not broken. <laughs> I was surprised that a car could talk. Door open. Open. Door open. Door open. <laughs> Door open. Hmm, I think you two make enough noise on car rides as it is. Can we look at that one? Sure, come on. I'll show you. Mommy, see! Wow! It looks like a house in there. It's just the right size for you, Caillou. Caillou thought it would be fun to live in a house on wheels. Caillou was having a great time looking at all the different kinds of cars. Where's the roof? It's called a convertible, Caillou. The roof comes off. How about I take us for a test drive? Ah! <laughs> what if it rains? Good question. Watch what happens when I press this button. Wow! Wanna see my car? Wow! Nice set of wheels. Here's a price list. Just let me know if you're interested. Nice meeting you all. Bye! Wow, new cars sure are a lot of money. Get the car with no roof, Mommy? Maybe next year, Caillou. I'll bet our car can be fixed up so it's almost as good as new. I'll call our mechanic. Caillou was happy when he saw the car coming home from the garage. Yay! We got our car back! Yep, it's all fixed now. Aww. What's the matter, Caillou? Now my car is broken. Hmm, looks like it's time for another repair. Thanks, Daddy. A very good swimmer. Look, Daddy, I'm a fish. <laughs> a very big fish. The water's just right. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Mommy, see! <laughs> There's too many people. I don't have enough room to swim. I think Caillou's right. Who'd like to go to the public pool? Rosie! We'll see you in a little while, Caillou. Here, you drop this. Thank you. Caillou had never seen a wheelchair up close before. Mommy, is that a big wagon? No, Caillou, it's called a wheelchair. That girl sits in it because she can't walk like you and me. Shall we go swimming now? Yes! <laughs> Caillou saw the girl swimming underwater. He wanted to try it for himself. <coughs> Mommy, the water gets in my nose. Oh, that's all right, Caillou. There's no harm done. Hi, my name's Tammy. I'm Caillou. <laughs> you swim like a fish. <gasps> that's right, I do. Do you know how to swim underwater? No, it makes my nose itch. Do you ever put your face in the water and blow bubbles? Yes, I can do that. Watch me. That's great, Caillou. You stay there and watch what I could do. Now it's my turn. You're a good swimmer, Caillou. Look at me! Here, swim towards me. It wasn't so easy after all, but Caillou was determined to do it. Did you see, Mommy? I can do it! I knew you could.
could do it, Caillou. Oh, I'm very proud of you. You did it. Now we both swim like fish. <laughs> I have to leave, Caillou. Bye. Did you see me, Daddy? I can swim under the water now. I sure did, Caillou. Swimming like the big kids. I had a lot of fun today. Are you coming back tomorrow? Sure, I'll be back. Here, I want you to have this. Thank you. It'll help you swim underwater. I'll see you around, okay? Tammy seems like a very nice young girl. And a very good swimmer. Uh-huh. And I'm going to practice to be as good as she is. Mommy! <laughs> Mommy is great. She takes me to fun places like the beach. Mommy says it's fun to try new things. <laughs> she likes it when I draw her pictures. It's beautiful, Caillou. Thank you. And I like it when she tucks me in at night. <laughs> Getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Horn. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Sarah. Uh, Can I try? Sure. I used to play with this horn a lot when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. We're giving my old toys to the community center. Oh. Caillou was disappointed. He still wanted to play the horn. Caillou! Mom says you can keep it if you like. Thanks! Bye bye Caillou loved making loud, funny music with the horn. Look at what Sarah gave me! Could I see it, please? It's a nice horn, but this is lunchtime. You can play with it later. <laughs> Besides, it would be hard to eat and play at the same time. Caillou couldn't wait to play again. <laughs> now is not the time for this. I'll put it here while you finish eating. You're staying with me. Whee! I can make music too. Birdie! Are you? I'm going to the store with Rosie. Do you want to come too? Can I bring the horn? Hmm, I'm afraid it wouldn't be the right place for it. No. All right then. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Have fun. Caillou felt it was unfair. It never seemed to be the right time or the right place to play the horn. The dog doesn't seem to like that sound very much. You know what? I know the perfect place where we can go. And I can bring the horn? You sure can. Hmm. I wonder where Caillou can be. Caillou? Whoa! <laughs> Hold it, Caillou. Why don't you hand me the horn? I'll give it back to you when you're on top. Sarah! I don't think she heard you. Just then, Caillou had a great idea. Mom, wait! It's Caillou with my horn. 
this time, Caillou had played the horn in the right place at the perfect time. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? <laughs> the Mighty Oak. wondered where the sound came from. It sounded like a giant bee. Daddy, look! Mr. Hinkle is cutting down that old tree. Want to give him a hand? Yes. Wow! Why is that man cutting down your tree, Mr. Hinkle? The tree is too sick. It had to be cut down. Trees can get sick. Sure. See how easily this breaks? Uh-huh. Mr. Hinkle's tree has become weak. I didn't want the tree to fall down by itself. Someone could get hurt. Oh. Maybe we should have the man look at our tree, huh, Caillou? Okay. The tree is healthy enough. I just need to cut off this one branch. Caillou was afraid the tree he liked to swing from was going to be cut down. Is our tree sick, Daddy? I don't know, Caillou. Cutting off a dead branch from a healthy tree doesn't hurt it. It's just like when you get your toenails cut. Toenails? <laughs> don't worry. This tree is very healthy. It's fine. Yay! My swing tree is never going to be sick. Right, Daddy? I hope not. We'll have to take very good care of it, won't we? Uh-huh. Hmm. How about we plant a new tree to keep it company? Okay. Caillou thought that planting a new tree was a good idea. To plant a new tree too, Mr. Hinkle? You know what? That's a good idea, Caillou. Hello? And who are you? I'm Caillou. We want a new tree. Mr. Hinkle wants one too. Well, you've come to the right place, Caillou. Caillou saw lots of flowers. But he didn't see any trees. Where are the trees? Right over there. Those aren't trees. Those are plants. Actually, they're baby trees. But someday they'll grow into big trees. Hmm. The baby tree intrigued Caillou. It's soft. Just like Rosie's blanket. Rosie's my baby sister. Well, this little tree is going to grow just like your Rosie, then. Is this what it's going to look like when it grows up? Yes. Does this tree look familiar? Maybe you've seen one in your house before? It's a Christmas tree! I want this one, Daddy, so we can have a Christmas tree all the time! <laughs> well, that means we've got to decorate it. And you'll have to buy gifts for everyone, all the time. No, I won't. These two trees are different from each other. Touch them and see if you can tell what the difference is. Caillou could feel the difference. This one is prickly. And this one has smooth leaves, like our tree. Daddy, can we get this one? Okay. And I'd like this one, please. And since all of this was your idea, Caillou, you can come and visit my Christmas tree whenever you want. You keep this. That way, you can see how well your tree is growing. That's food for the tree. It looks funny. 
Are you going to feed the tree dinner and breakfast too? <laughs> nope. After this, all it needs is rain and sunshine. Daddy. Okay. Caillou was surprised at how many things had to be done to plant a new tree. There, we're all done. You're a good tree planter, Caillou. Caillou, Caillou! Hi, Rosie. Look at the new baby Ooh. tree. It looks like we're gonna get a storm. Let's get inside. Dinner's ready. Hey, Caillou! Mommy, see! Okay. My tree! Hold on, Caillou. I'll come with you. Oh, no! My tree's crooked. All it needs is something to lean on to protect it from the wind. I'll get a stake. Caillou was worried about his tree. And then he got an idea. Caillou wanted to find a toy he could leave with the baby tree, so it didn't get lonely during the night. Even though Caillou loved his red toy car, he decided that his baby tree could share it. the tree with my blanket so it doesn't get cold. And it can play with my car if it gets lonely. How long will it take for the baby tree to be as big as this one, Daddy? By the time you're grown up, the tree will have grown up too. We'd better get inside. Good night. Sleep tight. Good night. Get well, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou loved playing in the living room in the morning because right about this time... Oh, it's the mailman! Good morning! Well, good morning to you too, Caillou. See you tomorrow. Bye, Mr. Mailman. Mommy, look what the mailman brought. Is there anything for me? Not today. Oh, but Mr. Hinkle's hardware catalog got mixed up with our mail by mistake. Want to take it over to him? You mean like a mailman? Can I dress like one too? Yes, of course. Well, hello, Mr. Mailman. You look just like my young friend who lives next door. It's me, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou! I'm delivering this catalog just like the mailman. Thank you. Oh, look, I got the same hardware catalog twice. Would you like one? I know how much you like to cut out the pictures. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Mommy, look! Mr. Hinkle was still wearing his pajamas. Do grown-ups take naps in the day, too? He could be sick, honey. Remember when Daddy had the flu and we made him a card and some chicken soup? Mommy, could we make chicken soup and a card for Mr. Hinkle? Sure. I bet it'll make him feel a lot better. Look, Mommy. I'm all done. It's beautiful, Caillou. Mommy! Can I get some flowers for Mr. Hinkle? Great idea. You could make a nice vase with this. Hubert! Look, Mommy! It's beautiful, Caillou. All we need now are some flowers from our garden. And a red one, Mommy! Get a red one! One. Mr. Hinkle is going to be so happy when he gets your card and flowers. Yay! Mr. Hinkle, look what I made for you. 
you. All this just for me? Read the card. There's a beautiful bluebird, and underneath it says Mr. Hinkle. That's me. Thank you. This is the best get well card I've ever seen. I'm feeling better already, Caillou. And you know, it's perfect. You put that bluebird on the card. Why? I just finished putting this birdhouse together. Want to come back tomorrow when I'm all better and help me paint it? Okay, Mr. Hinkle. Goodbye. I can't wait to help Mr. Hinkle paint his birdhouse. What? You don't want to be a mailman anymore? <laughs> the big boat. Caillou was very excited because today they were going on a sailboat. Look, Daddy, I have a boat too. May I borrow your boat? I want to show you something. See? The reason we call it a sailboat is because it has sails. When the wind blows in the sails, it pushes the boat on the water. Me too! <gasps> it's time to go to the marina now. That's Yay! where they keep the boats. You'll need to wear your sneakers. They're the best shoes to wear on a boat. Ready to feel the wind blowing in the sails? <laughs> that tickles. Can I bring it, Daddy? You sure can. When Caillou got to the marina, there were lots of boats, but none of them seemed to have sails. Bertie! Where's the sailboat? Hmm, I'll give you a clue. Our friend Helen's sailboat is brown and white. I can find it. Come up here, sailor. You'll have a better view. Oh, is he too? Do you see it? There! Welcome aboard, everyone. I'm glad you could come. The boat rocked a little, and Caillou felt a little unsteady. Mommy, the floor is moving. It's okay, Caillou. It takes a little time to get used to it. Safety first. I have something special for you. We need to wear these life jackets while we're on the boat. I have sneakers, too. Look at that. You're on your way to becoming a true sailor. There! You know, Helen has a whole house just like ours right here inside her sailboat. Where is it? <laughs> I'll show you. Birdie! We'll stay out a bit. Rosie likes the seagulls. Wow! you do that? Oh, there are lots of surprises like this on my boat. I have a kitchen in here, too. Do you think you can find it? Hmm. Is this the kitchen? <laughs> no, Daddy. This is a bathroom. There you go, Caillou. It's a bed. I can't find the kitchen. I spy what looks like an oven door. Over here. Uh-huh. This is my galley. That's what we call a kitchen on a boat. Would you like some grapes? Yes, please. Maybe the others would like some, too. Caillou! <laughs> Caillou saw something way up on the mast that looked familiar. Helen 
has a pinwheel, too, just like mine. And just like yours, mine tells me when the wind is blowing. Looks like it's time to go sailing. When we're out of the marina, we could chuck the motor off, and the sails will do the work. Almost done. And there. Phew. Let's find the wind, shall we? Here we go! Caillou was excited. Helen had turned the boat, so the wind was moving them fast now. Oh, it's all right, Rosie. Here, Rosie. You can have this. They have a tiller. See the stick the man is holding in the back? It steers just like my wheel. Caillou, would you like to help me steer? Yes! You're doing a fine job, Caillou. I think you can be captain for a while. Caillou was very proud to help steer the sailboat. He was having a lot of fun. But the visit was coming to an end. Thanks, Helen. We had a wonderful time. It was fun sailing with you. Come back soon. Here, Caillou, don't forget this. Thank you! Bye-bye! Bye! Caillou couldn't stop thinking about the wind blowing the sails. <laughs> That evening, he decided to go sailing again. <gasps> Almost done. Here you go, Rosie. See, Rosie? You have to be the wind. You did it! <laughs> Clock, honey. We've got lots of time. Caillou just couldn't wait. He was excited about playing with all his friends in the park. Huh? This sign says that the park is closed today. Why, Mommy? Oh, they're putting fertilizer on the grass. It makes it grow better. Hi, Clementine. We can't play in the park. It's closed. Oh, no. Everyone was disappointed. Caillou still wanted to play with his friends. Can everybody come to play at our house, please? Well, the backyard will be pretty crowded. But sure, they could come over. Yay! Race ya! Let's build a sandcastle! Caillou really wanted his special sandcastle bucket. But he knew that when friends come over, you have to share. There's only two shovels. We can take turns. Watch out, Jeffrey. This is no fun. Caillou's friends didn't seem to be having much fun. play on the swing. Caillou wanted to keep working on the castle. Can I go on the swing now? No. We didn't get to play in the sandbox. We have to take turns. It's no fair. We just got on it. <sighs> Mommy, I want everybody 
to go home now. What's the matter? Aren't you having a good time? Uh-uh. They don't want to take turns on the swing. How about if you think of a game that everyone can play together? Caillou knew a game that everyone would like. Do you want to play Frozen Tag? Okay! Yeah. Sure! One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato more. Caillou was happy that all his friends were having fun together. <laughs> I thought you guys might need a little snack. Yum! Thank you. When you're finished, it'll be time to go home. No! Mommy, we want to play some more. Tomorrow the park will be open again. You'll see each other there. Yay! Skating lessons. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? I'm flying an airplane. My daddy and I made it. Why do you have your skates? Your mom is giving me a ride to my figure skating lesson. <laughs> you can't skate in the summer. Caillou, would you like to come along for the ride? Yeah! Hold on, Caillou. You better put this on. It's cool where we're going. Caillou's mommy was right. Even though it was warm outside, inside it was cool and frosty. Ooh! Mommy, it's like winter inside. I'll see you guys on the rink. wearing ice skates indoors, Mommy. Because this is a skating arena. People can skate here all year long. Does the ice melt in the summer? No. This is special indoor ice. Come, I'll show you. Caillou was amazed. He had only seen ice outside in the winter. Caillou, why don't you come out and skate with me after my lesson? I only skated once before. They have lessons here. You can learn all sorts of neat stuff. Watch! Wow! I'll see you after class, okay? Mommy, could I skate like Sarah if I took lessons? Of course. Would you like to come back for a class? Yes, please! A few days later, Caillou was ready for his first skating lesson. Hello. You must be Caillou. I'm George, your skating instructor. Hello. I already know how to skate. That's great. We're gonna have lots of fun then. Don't forget your helmet. Okay. All right. Who wants to learn how to skate? Me too. Then come out here with me. Are you coming, Mommy? I don't have my skates, but I'll be right here the whole time. You know, learning to skate is a little like learning to walk. And sometimes... <laughs> you fell down! Sometimes I do, but that's okay, because I get right back up. Okay, I want you all to kneel like me. You just lift one foot, Push up and bring up the other foot. It's easy, see? Beautiful. You're learning already. The next part is easy. We just walk between the cones and back to the carpet. Caillou, would you like to be first? I learned to skate with a chair. You won't need one. You'll see. Just walk over to me. Whoa! <laughs> That's all right. Now get up, like I showed you. Great job, Caillou. Now everyone. <laughs> and now back to the carpet. 
You too, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou was getting discouraged. Skating was harder than he expected. That's all right, Caillou. You'll get the hang of it. Let's practice some more, okay? How did you like your first lesson, Caillou? My pants are wet from falling so much. <laughs> yes, but you took the first steps to learning how to skate today. And that deserves a special sticker for your helmet. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Mommy, how come I'm not as good as Sarah? Oh, it takes practice, sweetie. I'm sure it took Sarah a few lessons to get as good as she is now. I don't want to come back tomorrow. Don't be discouraged. This was only your first lesson. Things will get better. You'll see. Wow! Look at the truck, Mommy! It's driving on the ice! It's called a Zamboni. See the water it leaves behind? It's making a fresh new layer of ice. What happened to your plane, Caillou? It's not a plane. It's a Zamboni. I'm making ice. Beep, beep. <laughs> you better park it for now. We'll be late for your skating lesson. Do I have to? How about you give it another try? If you still don't like it, then you don't have to go. We could stay to watch the Zamboni afterwards. The Zamboni? Yahoo! Hello, Caillou. I'm glad you came back today. Raphael is new. Maybe you can help her catch up. Uh, don't worry. I fall all the time, too. But I know how to get up. Ready? I can tell you'll make a very good teacher, Caillou. Come on, we have some new games today. <laughs> That's it for today, everybody. You all did an excellent job. See you tomorrow. Bye, George! Caillou had so much fun at his second lesson. He didn't ever want to leave. Do we have to go, Mommy? We'll be back tomorrow, Caillou. Besides, there's someone I want you to meet. Caillou, this is Henry. He drives the Zamboni. Hi, Caillou. Your mom told me how much you like the Zamboni. Would you like to ride it with me? Can I really? Caillou thought that riding the Zamboni was almost as much fun as learning to skate. There was only one other thing that he wanted to do. becomes a waiter. Look! I made a picture of Julie. That's great, Caillou. Caillou was excited because Julie was coming over to babysit. Where are you and Daddy going? We're going to eat in a restaurant. Can I come? Not this time, Caillou. Caillou. Hi, Julie. Look, I made you this. Thank you, Caillou. It's beautiful. There's a casserole in the oven, Julie. We should be home in about three hours. I want to go. I like restaurants. You're going to have a wonderful time with Julie, Caillou. And Mommy made your favorite, macaroni. No, I'm not going to have a good time. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Caillou. You want to help me prepare dinner, Caillou? Okay. I want to eat in a restaurant. Can you play? Yeah, I have an yeah. idea, Caillou. Why don't we make our own restaurant? Okay. Rosie, too. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Caillou was having a wonderful time. 
He was making a menu and a waiter's bow tie. I wonder what's keeping our waiter. Me too. Here I am. Hmm, it all looks very yummy. But this looks really good. That will be four pennies, please. Macaroni it is. That will be four pennies, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money. If you can't pay for your meal, you have to do the dishes. But I guess we could make an exception. No, I want to do the dishes. All this work was making Caillou hungry. I didn't go to Mommy and Daddy's restaurant. I like ours better. Sticking to it. Uh, huh. Caillou was looking everywhere for one of his favorite toys. Caillou, I haven't seen it. Maybe if you cleaned up your room, you'd be able to find what you're looking for. I'm sure you'll find your tractor once you finish cleaning up. Okay. My plane! Under some clothes. I bet you could use your tractor to pick up those clothes. Then maybe you wouldn't step on any of your toys again. Yeah, I guess so. I have an idea that might make helping out around the house fun. You do? First we have to make a chart and then some stickers. Can I color them? Sure. I'm going to get my crayons. Every time you help with something around the house, you get to pick out a sticker. Like this sticker. Sticky! Caillou was happy with the stickers he helped Mommy make. He couldn't wait to pick out his first one. I'm finished! Mommy, see? Uh-oh. I'll clean it, Mommy. Ha! <laughs> no, Rosie! Very good. I think you just earned your first sticker. I'll take this one. Now let's see. Oh, look. Brushing teeth is on the chart. Like this? Very good. That's another sticker. I want next, Mommy. It's the biggest one. Hmm. I think it's gonna take something special for that one. Can you think of something special? I can't think of anything special, Mommy. You know, picking up things like clothes is special. Can you think of somewhere to pick up lots of clothes? Hmm. My room! Rosie, see, Mommy? I clean my room all by myself. Rosie, too. This is worth a special sticker. I like helping, Mommy. New clothes. Look, 
Mommy. I'm making my milk dizzy. <laughs> okay, goodbye. That was Grandma and Grandpa. And guess what? We're going to their anniversary party tonight. Party? Yay! Cake and presents! Let's go now, Daddy. <laughs> Hang on. We have the whole day ahead of us. Besides, you're not even dressed yet. <laughs> Mommy, can you help me get dressed? I think maybe you're big enough to get yourself dressed today. I am? It's simple. Just choose some underwear, socks, a shirt, and some pants. Caillou decided to pick his monkey shirt, but he liked the red one Grandma gave him, too. Caillou was having so much fun picking his favorite clothes, he forgot to get dressed at all. Are you almost ready to go play outside? Um, almost ready! Daddy, Daddy, I got dressed all by myself! <laughs> you sure did. Now, let's see. Two shirts? Great job, but don't you think you might be a little cold playing outside in shorts? Maybe I'm wrong. Why don't we check outside and see? Else. You sure can. What happened in here? A tornado? Where? Why don't you pick out some long pants and a sweatshirt, okay? They're sure to be a bit warmer. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. How are you? Where's Caillou? <laughs> here I am. Well done. But I think you may have put your pants on backwards. That's how I like them. <laughs> All right. Let's clean up some of these clothes, okay? Later that evening, it was time for Caillou to get dressed into some nicer clothes. How about wearing this? It's very nice. Caillou listened to Mommy's suggestion, but he wanted to dress himself. No, I want to wear this. Okay. Hi, Caillou. Don't you look handsome? And we heard you got dressed all by yourself. Caillou noticed Daddy and Grandpa looked really nice in their fancy party suits. Suddenly, he wasn't so sure about his own clothes. Daddy, can I change my clothes again? Sure. That's the best part about being old enough to dress yourself. Grandpa, can you fix my tie, too? Daddy! <laughs> my daddy shows me how to do lots of neat stuff. We like skating, except it's not that easy at first. Wow! <laughs> and sometimes daddy acts silly. <laughs> but he always knows how to take care of us. When I grow up, I want to be just like my daddy. Where I live. Look, Daddy, that's our family. Wow. I'll help you. Hmm, I could use a driver. Are you interested? Okay, Mr. Driver, point the way to the flowers so I can drop off this dirt. Over there! Uh-oh, look out! No brakes! <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Come over, I have something to show you. Daddy, can I go? You sure can. It's a letter for you. It says Caillou, right there. There's a mistake in the number of the address. It says 15 Pine Street. That's my number. What's your number? Caillou knew there were numbers on his house, too. But he didn't remember what they were. Uh, let's go see. Uh, 
one and seven. That's seventeen. Look, I have a letter. Wow. Hmm. Mailed to 15 Pine Street. That's my address. At 15, it feels like a dream. <laughs> I made it up so I'd remember. <laughs> That's a good idea, Sarah. Caillou, do you know what our address is? Uh-uh. 17 Pine Street. Hey, how about we make our own rhyme? Uh, Jelly Bean 17. I am fine. I live on pine. My family's fine. The sun likes to shine. Come here and see us at 17 Pine. <laughs> we can write 17 on your house. There, 17. I better go back home now. We're supposed to go to the store soon. Bye. Jelly Bean 17. I am fine. I live on pine. Oi! <laughs> 17. I'm very impressed. What's this? <gasps> to Caillou. Let's see. Isn't this pretty? It reads, you are invited to my party Saturday at 1. And it's from Clementine. Yay! A party! I want to go! Let's call her to let her know you'll be there. You can also tell her your correct address. Okay, sweetie. It's Clementine's mom. You can tell her our address. Hi. Uh, Jelly Bean 17. Um... I am fine. I live on pine. pine. I live at 17 Pine. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please. Hi, Clementine. I'm coming to your party. A good friend. Are you ready to go? Leo will be here any minute. Yes. Oops. Caillou was going to the park with Mommy and Leo, and he wanted to take all his favorite toys with him. You can't take all those. How about you pick one or two? Why don't you leave your dinosaur? You don't want it to get dirty in the park. OK. my new friend. I like Dino, too. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay. Bye. Try this. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there. I can run fast. I can run faster. Roar! <laughs> that was fun. Let's climb to the top. such a good time at the park with Leo. He wanted to see him again. You want to play tomorrow? Okay. Your Auntie Joan is coming tomorrow morning. But I want to play with Caillou. You could bring Leo tomorrow afternoon if you want. All right. Hooray! Bye! And we played in the sandbox and on the jungle gym. Sounds like you had a really good time. Hello? Oh, hi. Really? I'll have a look around. Bye. That was Leo's mommy. Leo lost his toy dinosaur. Oh, no! 
Why don't you have a look to see if it's with your toys? It's not here! Caillou knew how much Leo liked his new dinosaur. He must have left it somewhere. I know! He left his dinosaur at the park! I know where it is! Can we go get it? Hmm, it's gonna be dark soon. Leo's gonna have to get Dino tomorrow. Dino's going to be scared all alone in the dark. Well, I guess we could walk over to the park after dinner. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's not here, Daddy. Where else did you play? There and there. I don't see it. We better get home. It's getting dark. Looks like we're going to get some rain. Caillou was glad his dinosaur, Rexy, was safe. But he was worried about Leo's dinosaur. Dino's going to get all wet. Maybe someone put him in a nice, safe place. I bet Leo's really sad. You know what we'll do? Tomorrow, when you get up, we'll make a lost poster and hang it up in the park. That made Caillou feel a lot better. A poster was sure to help find Dino. Good night. Sweet dreams. The next day, Caillou made a poster to hang up in the park. Rosie, too! Sticky! There. You did a good job on your poster. Now, if someone has seen Dino, they can call Leo's house or ours. <laughs> Hello there. Can I help you? Leo lost his dinosaur. He did. Did you find it? No, but there's a lost and found department at the park office. You might find it there. Lost and found? What's that? If someone finds something and they don't know who owns it, they can leave it at the lost and found department. And if you lost something, you know where to go to see if someone found it. Can we go, Mommy? Sure. Bye. Thank you. Look at all the things people lost. And Mommy, they don't know that someone has found them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hello, my name is Tit. 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 Caillou liked the lost and found, but he was upset that he hadn't found Leo's dinosaur. We have to go home and have lunch. Leo is coming this afternoon. What about Dino? It doesn't look like he's here. We'll just have to keep looking for him. I found him! Look, Mommy, I found Dino! Caillou was really happy he found Dino. Ta-da! Dino! Thank you for finding Dino. I didn't find him. Caillou did. You're my best, best friend, Caillou. Thanks. Let's play inside. I don't think Dino wants to be lost anymore. Just like me. It was a beautiful summer day, and Caillou was playing in the park with Rosie. Training wheels. Wow! Billy taught me. I like having a big brother. He teaches me lots of things. I teach Rosie lots, too. Like what? Um... Caillou tried to think what he had taught Rosie, but he couldn't remember. Time to get going! Caillou, come get your toys. Gotta go. Bye, Clementine. I'll close it. I'm her 
her big brother. You certainly are. Caillou wanted to teach Rosie something, just like Billy had taught Clementine. Want to learn how to ride my bike, Rosie? Yay! <laughs> okay, now push the pedals. What are you doing, Caillou? Billy showed Clementine how to ride her bike. I want to show Rosie. There are some things Rosie's too young for right now, just like you used to be when you were her age. Take it apart. Watch, Rosie. I'll show you. You put it together like this. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Caillou was very excited he taught Rosie to put the train track together. He wanted to show Mommy. Look, Mommy. Come see. Okay. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> I guess Rosie's not old enough to put the train set together. Come on, you two. Lunch is ready. Why don't you show Rosie how to eat spaghetti? Rosie, watch! You take the fork and put the spaghetti like this. <laughs> Paschetti! I guess I'm not a very good big brother. I can't teach her anything. That's not true. She watches everything you do and copies it. That's one of the ways she learns. Really? Sure. I know something you can teach her. How about that song we used to sing before bed? A, B, C, D. Oh! Rosie, let's sing. It's called the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, F, G, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. She did it. <laughs> you can't stop there. There's still the rest of the alphabet to go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J. Just in time. It's time for breakfast. No dawdling this morning. We don't have much time before we meet Leo at the park. <gasps> okay. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou thought about getting some breakfast, but when he saw his toy car, he couldn't help but stop and play with it. It's about time. Rosie's already finished her breakfast. Now, Rosie, I have to eat breakfast. You'd better hurry. You still have to get changed and brush your teeth. Caillou was having such a good time playing with his car, he forgot about brushing his teeth. Caillou, you're still not ready? was taking a long time deciding which shirt to wear. Caillou, we're ready to go. Coming! Caillou was finding all sorts of interesting things on the way to the playground. A caterpillar! It's very pretty, but we should keep going. It's not polite to keep Leo and his mommy waiting. Caillou wondered why Leo was leaving the playground. Hello. We waited for you as long as we could, but we have to get going now. Oh, sorry we're so late. Bye, Caillou. Maybe we can play later. Bye. Bye. It took so long for you to get ready, and now we hardly have any time left to play. Caillou was disappointed that he couldn't play with Leo. Almost ready for your bedtime story? Can you read me three bedtime stories, Daddy? I don't know if he can. Remember what happened today when we ran out of time? 
It depends how long you take getting ready. I know. How about we make it a game? When I turn this timer upside down, you've got five minutes to get ready for bed before all the sand gets to the bottom. On your mark, get set, go! Caillou <laughs> really wanted Daddy to read three stories. I did it! I went fast, Daddy! <laughs> you sure did, Caillou. That deserves three bedtime stories. Caillou was very happy that he got ready on time. I like that game, Daddy. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Caillou, and he used to take a lot of time to do things. Mr. Fixit. Caillou liked laundry day. The whole house smelled nice. Gilbert is helping you fold the laundry. <laughs> Gilbert, silly cat. That's no place for you. I know I put two socks in the washer. Now, where did the other one go? Huh? Ooh. Oh, no! Snow! <laughs> oh. Mommy, we're washing the clothes and the basement. Well, I think I better call someone to fix it before we wash the whole house. Why don't we call the man who fixed the dryer last year? The next day, someone knocked at the door. Hi, Bob, isn't it? Yes, good to see you again. And Caillou, isn't it? Do you remember me? Uh-uh. I'm Bob, and I'm here to fix your washing machine. It's not my machine. It's my mommy and daddy's. But I know where it is. It was fine until yesterday. Come on, Caillou. We'll let Bob work in peace. Oh, that's all right. I can use the help. I have my own tools. I'll be right back. I know how to fix things, too. These are very nice tools. Oh, I like this one. It's called a wrench. Do you know what it's for? Uh-huh. No. It's for tightening things. Here, hop up here on this chair and I'll show you. You fit the wrench onto this bolt and turn it like this. That tightens it. Do you want to give it a try? Uh. Good job. See, now we tighten this all the way, put the cap on, and we're done. It sounds much better now. I helped fix it, Daddy. He sure did. Oh, I found this wrapped around the stem. Aha, uh -huh, my missing sock. Daddy, can I fix something for you? Sure, I could use a hand hammering this nail into the wall. Okay, now hit that nail with the hammer. Not too hard. Good job. Mommy, I helped that man fix the washing machine, and I helped Daddy, too. Thank you, Caillou. That's very wobbly, but I bet you could help Daddy fix it. There, that should make it stable. And now for the most important part, the glue. Do you want to do it, Caillou? Yeah! How's my little handyman doing? Is it fixed, Caillou? Yes, it is. And this time, Daddy helped me. Rosie! She's my baby sister, and I love her. We play games together a lot. And we have fun. I get to show her things I like. And sometimes I help take care of her. Because I'm her big brother. <laughs> <laughs>